Welcome, fellow explorers of the unknown. Buckle up for an exciting ride through the world of hydrogen cars versus electric cars. Strap in because we're about to unpack the heated debate that's got everyone talking. If you're all about fun discoveries, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming up. Ready to unlock the secrets? Let's dive in. Hydrogen cars are better than battery-powered cars in so many ways, but they have a long way to go. After numerous false starts over the decades, the era of the electric car is finally here. Battery, electric cars, and hydrogen fuel cells are contending to be the way of the future, just as gasoline and diesel went head-to-head -head in the early days of automobiles. Battery-powered cars had the big advantage going mainstream first, largely thanks to Tesla, the Tesla Roadster, and the Tesla Model S. But these are still the early days of electric cars. Nothing has been established yet. There is no traditional electric car that has become the default. Currently, automakers are researching bulls, batteries, and now solid-state batteries, and hydrogen systems as well. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room charging. The most obvious advantage of hydrogen is that you never have to wait for the car to charge. You can refill the tank as quickly as getting gasoline. The ability to quickly refuel makes hydrogen cars better than electric ones. For long-distance driving, it also makes them easier to own. One doesn't need to schedule a good time to charge a hydrogen car daily. For comparison, an electric car currently requires at least 20 minutes to recharge at a fast charging station. If one plugs the car into an ordinary household power outlet instead, the car may need several hours to recharge. While this may not be a problem for short-distance city driving, it becomes a problem for those who drive too many miles to simply plug in the car when they get home and leave it overnight. Now let's shift gears and talk about range. Hydrogen cars have longer driving ranges than battery electric cars. Of course, as with anything related to cars, there is a lot of variation between different models regarding efficiency and fuel capacity. But generally speaking, hydrogen cars get around 300 to 400 miles on a tank of hydrogen. But among battery electric cars, mass market favorites like the Nissan Leaf and Chevrolet Bolt respectively get 226 and 247 miles per charge. Only 14 electric cars can get more than 300 miles per charge. For people commuting in large metropolitan areas, this range difference can determine whether the car is capable of making a daily round trip without refueling or recharging. The heaviest part of an electric car is the battery. On the other hand, a hydrogen fuel cell system, including the hydrogen tank, weighs far less than a battery does. That means the electric motor in a hydrogen car doesn't use nearly as much power to push the weight of the vehicle. If you put the same motor in a battery electric car and a hydrogen car, the hydrogen car will have better acceleration and higher top speeds because the motor has a lot less car to move. Reducing the vehicle's weight by removing the battery frees automakers to do whatever they want with the extra power. Without the weight of a large battery, it's easier to produce a car that feels, and is, light and fast. Because the hydrogen fuel cells are powering an electric motor, you get the same instant torque as a battery electric vehicle, but since the motor doesn't have to move a heavy battery, all of that torque can go to pushing you into the back of your seat. Now you might be wondering about the environmental impact. Hydrogen cars have an edge here too. While it's true that producing hydrogen can be energy intensive, the process can be made more eco-friendly by using renewable energy sources like wind or solar power. In contrast, the production of batteries for electric cars involves mining for rare metals like lithium and cobalt, which can have significant environmental consequences. Additionally, recycling hydrogen fuel cells is much simpler and more efficient than recycling batteries. But wait, there's more. Hydrogen cars emit only water vapor and heat as byproducts, making them a cleaner choice for the environment. Electric cars, on the other hand, rely on electricity generated from various sources, which may include fossil fuels. So while electric cars are cleaner to drive, the source of their electricity can impact their overall carbon footprint. Now I know what you're thinking. What about the infrastructure? Electric car charging stations are becoming more common, but hydrogen refueling stations are still limited in number. 
Well, that's a valid concern, and it's one of the challenges hydrogen cars face. However, with increasing investments and interest in hydrogen technology, we can expect to see a growth in refueling infrastructure in the coming years. But here's a fun thought. Hydrogen isn't just for cars. It can be used in buses, trucks, and even trains. That means the advantage of quick refueling, longer ranges, and efficiency extend beyond personal vehicles, potentially revolutionizing public transportation and logistics. So are hydrogen cars better than electric cars? Well, they have their advantages, especially when it comes to refueling speed, driving range, and power to weight ratio. However, they also face challenges, particularly in terms of infrastructure. It's essential to consider your specific needs and the state of infrastructure in your area when deciding which type of vehicle suits you best. Now let's delve a little bit deeper into the efficiency of hydrogen cars. They're not just about environmental benefits, they're more efficient too. The heaviest part of an electric car is the battery. On the other hand, a hydrogen fuel cell system, including the tank, weighs far less than a battery does. That means the electric motor in a hydrogen car doesn't use nearly as much power to push the weight of the vehicle. If you put the same motor in a battery electric car and a hydrogen car, the hydrogen car will have better acceleration and higher top speeds because the motor has a lot less car to move. Reducing the vehicle's weight by removing the battery frees automakers to do whatever they want with the extra power. Without the weight of a large battery, it's easier to produce a car that feels and is light and fast. Because the hydrogen fuel cells are powering an electric motor, you get the same instant torque as a battery electric vehicle. But since the motor doesn't have to move a heavy battery, all of that torque can go to pushing you into the back of your seat. And here's a fascinating tidbit. This improved power-to-weight ratio can also be advantageous in cars that aren't designed for speed. In luxury cars, the motor can propel the weight of all that genuine wood and leather without having to use even more power to move a battery. Similarly, for family haulers and pickups, the car's powertrain doesn't have to drive those third seat rows or loaded cargo beds in addition to bearing the weight of a battery large enough to power a truck. That frees the motor to haul more people, more cargo, or anything else. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Do you think hydrogen cars have a bright future, or do electric cars still hold the upper hand? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our future explorations of the latest tech and innovations. Thanks for joining me on this adventure today, and until next time, keep your curiosity alive.